hey what's up guys thank you for tuning in again today in this video I'm gonna talk about the update on my portfolio so I have been able to hit 160,000 mark again today uh, year to date I am up 4.36 percent which is lagging behind uh, SPY and all the indexes like SCHD SPY and the Nasdaq index as well um, although those are not indexes uh, in particular but they are the ETFs that are based on the indexes so you got uh, what I meant um, at one point on July 16th I was up 7.83% uh, which was $12,000 so I was at $165,000 uh, and uh, today the stock market is going up and I'm I'm loving it it's uh, it I'm up $1,000 or 0.63 percent and uh, I was able to sell another uh, covered call on my QQQ stocks I daily talk about selling covered calls and generating extra income uh, the call that I sold was for three dollars and now it's at six dollar I should have waited a little bit and then sold uh, this and could have made uh, twice as much but anyway not complaining at all I'm lucky and I'm blessed uh, that I do have 100 shares of QQQ and I'm generating daily passive income selling covered calls so the covered call break-even price is four hundred and sixty four dollars with three cents three cents is what I got it when the strike price I sold the covered call at was four hundred and sixty four dollars uh, so currently the ETF is up 1.2 percent already so I highly doubt that it's gonna go close to 464 let alone crossing it so that's where I am and I have also updated uh, my Nvidia position so I told you about uh, having five shares of Nvidia so I bought them at hundred and six dollars oh hundred and seven dollars so I'm willing to expand this uh, position the only thing that I'm uh, looking forward to is the CPI data that is coming tomorrow uh, so uh, the price uh, earnings <laughs> the PE ratio that we uh, talk about is over 63 which is little too high for me um, forward-looking PE ratio I believe is still uh, in 40s high 40s uh, which uh, along with other analysts and uh, the research that I've done I think it's a I mean it's it's still a little high to my liking but uh, I think it's fair for a extremely high growth uh, company Nvidia has been growing their revenue by uh, triple digits year over year and not only the revenue but also the uh, the uh, profit margin has been uh, exploding from 54% profit margin uh, to 75% uh, this year uh, they have almost reached 75% profit margin which which in simply words uh, in simple words if you put uh, which means that it they have if they make one dollar uh, they are able to uh, generate seventy five dollars in profit so their cost with after paying everything uh, the loan the lease everything they it's uh, come around seventy five uh, cents uh, as profit and the cost is only 25 cents so that's uh, that's how Nvidia looks like um, so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna wait for tomorrow and uh, wait for the CPI data come in once I have the CPI data come in uh, on Thursday early Thursday I'm hoping if the stock market uh, goes down a little bit I'll be selling a cash secured put uh, meaning I'll be buying 100 shares and probably two contracts of that um, or maybe even three uh, let's see so if I sell a uh, cash ticket put on Nvidia I was looking at $95 strike price uh, early this week uh, but now uh, I'm not gonna collect any premium so I'll wait for that because last two days Nvidia has been uh, going up five percent yesterday and then almost four percent today as well uh, so I'll be selling a, a cash security put on a down day either Thursday or Friday morning 
and uh, again it'll be out of the money and uh, with the probability of 90 percent and above that the strike price would not be hit so if i were to sell this right now uh, i can sell three options contract here with thirty thousand dollars and collect fifty seven dollars here and then um, with the rest uh, with the fifteen thousand more i'm gonna sell a cash secured put on SOXL which again is a semiconductor leverage ETF if you have been following my videos you probably already know this uh, but uh, this I will be selling again around 90% probability with 90% probability the uh, Delta comes down to 0.1% uh, 0.1 uh, uh, close to 0.1 in this case it's uh, half uh, uh, percentage uh, less than half a percentage basically 0 0.05 percent uh, so I'll be selling rest of the uh, the cash as a cash secured put on this and with the 30 15,000 left uh, I would be able to sell I think five calls uh, yeah five calls I'll be able to uh, sell and then generate 64 more dollars so 57 56 57 dollars there and 64 dollars here again would be hundred uh, over hundred dollars uh, the good thing that I'm doing this week is since this the third week has always been the most volatile in the stock market if you if you have noticed uh, especially on the option side if that's the case uh, that's why I'm holding on to cash uh, early this week and uh, after the data comes out uh, the I will be able to sell cash secured puts and covered calls on my existing shares with better premium so that's the plan uh, and uh, before going just wanted to share uh, until this uh, date uh, we have been able to get $905 this month alone uh, from selling cash secured puts and covered calls all these two dollars one dollar three dollars uh, that you are seeing are all adding up uh, especially for QQQ if you see all these contracts that I've been able to sell uh, just in selling covered calls on QQQ daily covered calls I've been able to generate $18 that is like a, a full-on Chipotle with guac on the side as well. <laughs> so that's about it. I hope you guys like this video. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. And uh, I will be looking forward for your comments in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Till then, take care of yourself and people around you. Goodbye.